So some of you may be asking, why on earth do I even need a green screen in Minecraft? And I say... <laughs> yeah, that's why. That's why you need a green screen in Minecraft. So today, I'm going to be showing you three different ways to make green screens in Minecraft. And just a disclaimer before you get started, make sure your ground is stone. Unfortunately, I did not catch that in the first edit. However, yeah, make sure it's just not, not grass because it, it causes problems later. So let's get started. So as we come up here, you notice, yes, the, the, it's a green screen. Yeah, it, it's very easy to do. All you got to do is, um, it's just, it's just a thing of concrete, lime concrete. Um, but the reason why it's so big is because of this. So if you come over here, you may look, it's hard to tell on the lime concrete, but on the other ones, it's easier to tell. There's little splotches all over it. And so if you did a green screen like this, sometimes it will not work out the way you intend it to. Um, it depends how good your software is. Mine has not been kind enough to me when I've been doing thumbnails and things that it's I get little splotches and it does not work. I tried doing it with a darker green and it was even worse. Like now on this one you can really see all the tiny different splotches. Even though from far away it looks really clean, up close it is really not. So if you make one just gigantic, you will not get the little splotches. It's, yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty simple fix. You just have to build a little bit more and stand a little bit farther away. But if you really, I don't know, personally, I really don't want to have this giant big green screen sitting over here having memes pop up every like, I don't know, every 10 seconds or something. So there is very easy alternatives and sometimes it's just impractical to do it in survival because if you want to get your character, you have to line them up, and you need blocks underneath of you, so then you have to get rid of those too, and it's just it's just a mess in survival. However, there's a few more ways to make it just a little bit simpler. So, we're coming on to number two, which is over here. This one will probably take the longest to explain and understand. So, you come over here and you're like, what? What, what is this? How does this work? This doesn't make any sense. Like, how, how? It's not even a block thick. What are you doing? And to that I say maps. You probably guessed it, but maps are a really easy way to set up a green screen. All you gotta do is stand behind it and do a green screen thing. Yay. So, um, to, the way you do this is you grab an item frame and a map and you place it on some kind of lit block, full block that you can actually put maps on. Um, you can use sea lanterns, uh, shroom lights, glowstone, and yeah, redstone lamps. <laughs> So any of those will work, you put an item frame down, and you get your map of whatever color you want, and place it down. The reason I have a pink one is specifically for my skin, so if you're having other problems, you just have to do a different color. For example, if I come over here, and I stand in front of the green one, I've had problems where the uh, my eyes are cut out and it does it looks really weird. So. Instead of doing that, I have used a pink one because I have a color replace thing in my software. So instead of just doing just green, you can do other colors that will match your skin tone, skin the best, uh, depending on what it is. So if you have a totally green screen, a green skin, you might want to do a blue one. Or if you have some blue and green on yours, you might want to try a different color. Depending on what colors you have, it will depend on what you make. So you may be like, oh, how do I get these maps, though? Because I don't know how to get these. And <laughs> I I'm sorry, but this is the only way you can see in the background. This is probably the only way that you can get that. And that is making a very, very big area and grabbing a map, unfortunately. But if you also want to do other map art and stuff like that, this is a really cool way. Um, people have made videos on it, but honestly, this is the best way. As you can tell, uh, this is the lime green one. You just have to fill that corner of a map with that one, and underneath, I did pink. And if you're in creative and you don't want to take literally forever to do this, all you gotta do, grab, make sure you grab some maps, and come over to each of the corners, find out where it's at. So for this one, oop, it's loading. Oh, I grabbed the wrong map. So we will have to go inside and then try that again. Sometimes that happens. There we go. We're in the map. I probably should have grabbed a locator map because then you'll find exactly the corner. But if you don't, you have to have an empty locator map. That's the only way this will work. So if you come over here and as you can see, I am approaching a corner. 
So you want to go to the very corner of it. Hopefully you can find the exact block. I guess I went a little bit farther because I didn't want to mess it up. You go to one corner, take the coordinates of this one, fly all the way, oh. all the way to the second one. And it's about right here, but I went a little bit further as well. Get the two coordinates of both of the corners and do the slash fill command. So for example, you would go in here, slash type slash fill. Um, your coordinates, if you want to just be where you're standing, do the little tilde, 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 and then add in the coordinates of whatever it is. Then you put in concrete. So you will have three more coordinates wherever this is. So I will just do another tilde, 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 and you will put concrete. And then at this point, you need to know what color you have. For example, this is not going to do anything. It, it will only place the white one if you do not put any um, different numbers in after it. So, if you want to do a green one, I need to come back and come back to my cheat sheet. Alright, so now we're back. So, you want to come back to wherever my map is. If you want a pink one, do six. If you want a green one, do five. A lime green, specifically. If you want a darker green, you're going to have to just ex experiment with the numbers, um, but you do have every single color at your disposal here. So, just be aware of that. And you grab a map of whatever you have. Let's say you have a green one. Oh, there's my little icon. And you come to a cartography table. And I have all the supplies in here. So I'm just going to dump all the things we don't need off. Make sure you grab some glass panes and empty maps if you need them. So if you want to make this in survival and you happen to build all of it, you want to go to your cartography table, put your map in of whatever it is. Right now it says rename map. Make sure you put empty maps in there and it will copy the map. So you can make multiple copies of it. And because once you lock it using the glass, you cannot copy it. So make sure you make a lot of copies of these first and so on and so forth until you get a reasonable amount of copies you want. Then after that, if you don't want people messing with it, um, if you're done and you don't really care if people mess with it or not, just put it in the item frames and you'll be done. However, someone could go and put letters or things like that and then it would show up over here. So to fix that, you come into your cartography table, put in your maps, put in your glass panes, and you lock it. So then it will permanently be this color of green. So now it's impossible to change, and no matter what happens to it, it will always be like this. And so that's how you do a green screen using maps. Now for the final one, and my high most recommended one, because it's the easiest, instead of building a giant whatever, or building a giant map, this is the mini blocks. Yay, I love mini blocks. You think they're not gonna show up in a video? Ah, uh, nah. So, to use the mini blocks, so let's get started with the mini blocks. Um, unfortunately, you will need to download an add-on or something like that. And so if you're on uh, Nintendo Switch, like me, you're going to have to have another account in that has the add-on on there. And you can uh, check out Foxy No Tail to get this add-on. And unfortunately, with the new update he did that happened, you have to now go in here and do slash give at P the concrete block. So um, it's not that hard. I grab both of them right here. Or if you're in survival, you get them from a wandering trader. So that's the way to get them in survival. So how do these work? How do you get them like this? I'm going to show you right now. So, if you want that to be a green screen, stand behind it, like in front of it, not behind it. You stand in front of it and you do your green screen thing. You can also put them in the floor. You can use it for blocks and other things as well. Because you can come up here and you, you'd be like, you know what, I want a sea lantern. And you do that, you get a good angle and you do it. But these help if you have light sources behind them. Same with the maps. Because they will help transmit light through and it will be better if you can try to light them up as much as possible because it will make it easier in the future to do everything you're going to do so you come over to wherever you want your green screen place down your light blocks and then you place all of your mini blocks in front of it we will be doing a green one and you all you have to do is go boop 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 but they're mini so to change that you want to make them big with the black die boop 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 but they're not aligned so you use the red die to rotation align them so they will be exactly where they need to be and there's one last thing as you can tell 
it still has the little dots and whatever on them because it is the lime concrete. How, how is this one so bright? So you use the magenta dye and you switch it so they have no texture. But as you can tell, it's still darker for some reason, and I don't know why, but if you're gonna make these, make sure you do it on this way. I don't know, you just have to experiment with them, but this side is way brighter than this side, so make sure if you really don't want this to be darker, take them out and move them back. It's a weird thing with mini blocks, I don't know why, one side is a little darker than the other, so if you do something like that, then they will work perfectly fine, and then, I don't know why, it's, it's just a weird thing that they do. So, once you got that, you can still see there's a little bit of a grainy in it. So, if you use the magenta dye, it switches it to an 8-bit texture. So, boop, boop, boop. It's, it's hard to tell. I don't know how much YouTube will compress it or make it harder to see. But, um, if you look close enough, you might be able to see. Now, they're all very, very flat instead of the normal. But, now you have a green screen. And so, thank you for watching. This has been Green Screen Tips with Perry Pineapple. In the future, I'm going to show you, I guess, other green screen or just other tips and tricks you can use in Minecraft to do other things. I don't know. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this. If you really have, please be sure to uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. And yeah, if you want to help the channel grow, just share this with two people. And if those people share it with two people, then they could share it with two people, and then it will become insane growth of insanity. <laughs> so, hopefully you've enjoyed this little tutorial. I've, I hope it hasn't gone too long, but this is how you use green screens. And you can put... Oh, no. All right. All right. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.